We are here to celebrate science. We are here to celebrate technology. We are also here to promote science and technology in Africa. I believe there's no greater challenge than a lack of personal leadership. Now, what is personal leadership? And this is, most, this is directed to students here. So I believe that personal lead leadership begins with accepting responsibility for where you are and what you do. I love what I'm doing now. What an environmental engineer, where do you find yourself? What is the problem we have today in the environment? You have issues of water. You have diseases. You can work in UNICEF. You can work in WHO. There's nowhere you cannot work. Don't look what you don't have. Try to make something from what you have. Make something from what you have is the most important things. African Science Week. By also introducing them to robotics, um, we we're able to teach them today the, the concept of robots and then uh, throughout this program they'll be able to do robots for themselves, robots that will perform function and so whatever they've seen in the movie can be replicated uh, in this uh, training session. In my own class where I took uh, digital electronics, I had some students who were already making a choice of having a career to do with electronical engineering. As a leaders of tomorrow, sincerely I want to advise you to be enthusiastic about science because if you if you if you achieve success in science and technology, then this country would be a better place for all of us to live. Given the continental scale of change, there is a pressing need for a global forum in Africa where science can meet society, the media, and policymakers. To accelerate this rapid transformation, African scientists must pursue international class scientific studies work in Africa, and science in Africa must develop. <laughs>